Let's do this. This is the only way I can figure out how to show y'all everything. I'm standing on top of a stool, okay? Appreciate me. So, in the box, they come with the meals that I got. I got this one. Oh, wait. <laughs> I got this one. As you can see, it is a creamy dill chicken with roasted potatoes and green beans. I got the bur brown sugar bourbon steak with creamy Dijon pan sauce and scallion mashed potatoes and roasted Brussels sprouts. And the last one I got is a chicken over garlic parmesan spaghetti with Tuscan roasted potatoes. Period, these look bomb. Okay, we want some food, bitch. Soda. I'm happy, I'm excited. So each little bag, you got their own thing. You come with the name on it. Oh, what it is in the bag. Cream chicken dill. I like how they got this in here. It said my package supposed to came Tuesday, but today is Wednesday, y'all, and it's about seven o'clock and some change, okay? So, yeah. I don't know what that is. Um, I got a big old ice pack, which is. This mud is melted, all the way melted. Oh, that's heavy. That we have all the meats, which comes with another ice pack too. Steak, beef, whatever. Chicken. Chicken. I guess I can open it, and show y'all what the inside of these bags look like. Hold on. Your Parmesan or spaghetti. Spaghetti noodles. Mm. Um, Tuscan heat spice, which I never heard of. Got some cheese. Um, some tomatoes. And then you just got some salt. What are these? Cream cheese? Cream cheese. This looks like it's going to be an interesting meal. This Tuscan. The Tuscan noodle one, interesting. So just to remind y'all, I'm just opening the packages right now, but I'm going to make one of these meals tomorrow. I don't know which one I'm gonna make, but I'm gonna make one. This one is the creamy dill chicken, which I'll probably make this one just because the ingredients alone. Let's see, we got some dill, some fresh dill, bomb as ever. We got some potatoes, we got some sour cream, some fresh green beans, some chicken stock, and some mustard. This one actually looks pretty good. I have the brown sugar bourbon steak. Yeah, I'm not a fan of Brussels sprouts. I actually hate Brussels sprouts, but my mom likes Brussels sprouts, and I kind of wanted to just probably just just try it again, see if I probably like it or something. You know, we got some scallions. Ugh, a big old thing of fresh Brussels sprouts. I don't even know how to cook those. Um, beef stock, potatoes. More beef stock. Oh, yummy. Dijon mustard, sour cream, and ooh, brown sugar bourbon seasoning. That look bomb, too. I don't know which one I want to make first. My wife loves steak, and I do too. So, yeah, that's it. So, let's go on and cook this joint. Yes, uh, don't forget to shop on by the beauty. But hey, y'all, today we making this meal right here. I'm doing a little voiceover because I don't know what to say while I'm making this meal or whatever. But um, I do have an air fryer and a steamer, so I really don't have to do too much on the stove. So let's go on and get into it. Go, go on and cut up them potatoes, you know what I'm saying? Go on and cut them down, you know what I'm saying? Come down to the side you like. After that, we're going to get the cilantro. 
and cut up the cilantro very finely or is it thyme? I really don't remember. You're going to see it on the ingredients though. <laughs> I think it's thyme. Well, anyway, cut all that up, right? After you're done cutting all that up or whatever, you're going to grab them potatoes, put a little oil on them, some salt, pepper, seasoning salt, garlic powder, um, cilantro leaves, a little whatever you want to season your stuff with. Go on the seasoning, boo. How you want to season it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't be doing all that, you know, measuring and nothing like that. I just do it to my own little flavor, my own little taste or whatever. Uh, after you get done, mix that all up because you're going to be putting that in the steamer to make that soft and then roasting them off. Next is a chicken. We just gonna season that like we did with the potatoes. Add some oil. Put that bad baby in the air fryer, 370 for about 22 minutes, boo. And that's not gonna be done. It's gonna be bomb. Watch. Next up is the beans of the green, and we're gonna of course season it. Add a little bit of oil because we is putting that in the steamer too, and we roasting them joints. Okay, gonna season it up, sis. Do your thing. All right, all right, let's get into this sauce, boss. Going to add your little butter for the lover. You know what I'm saying? Add just some water. Now, all these got the right corrections of measurements you should be using. But, you know, black people like to add their own stuff. So, next is the beef stock that they provided. Sour cream at the time in there. And honey Dijon mustard. And you're just going to mix that all up. Make sure it's thickened how you want it to be thickened. Either you like it loose or you like it thick. Not matter. Do it how you want to do it. Um, and don't forget to season it. Add you some salt, some pepper. If you like it spicy, add you a little red pepper flakes in there. You know, she you like that. I like it. I ain't even add it in there, but I still like it. But I'm um, going to whisk that. Turn off the heat. Let it set for a little bit. Then you should be all done with the sauce. Sauce was easy to make. It was really good. I didn't taste none of my food as I went because I like these meals to be a surprise for me. You know, on what it's going to taste like. So I didn't really taste as I went. But uh, y'all going to know at the end. Now we got to make sure our potatoes is done. Go on and poke them to see if they're nice and soft. So you can go on and throw those in the air fryer really quick. We're just going to make a quick transfer. Go on and get our green beans in the steamer so we won't have to wait too long. And then we're going to take our chicken out so they can rest before we cut it. Looks done to me, boo. Once we take this chicken out, we're going to pop our potatoes in there so they can roast. And all we're going to be waiting on is the green beans once we're done. Oh, this looks so bomb. Y'all don't even know. It smells so good. You hear me? Do you hear me? It was bomb. So I let my chicken sit for a little bit because I learned off the food channel that you shouldn't cut meat right away because it's going to let all them juices come out. And I need my juice, boo. Did you hear me? So after I let it sit for a little bit, I went on and cut it into the pieces they told me to cut it as. Now it's time for break, boo. I'm on break. Smoke you a little sun. Okay? Dance a little bit. Go on and just wait for them potatoes and them green beans to get done, honey. Get you some cups. Kool-Aid. Something, you know what I said? Go get it set, right? Go on and get it prepared and ready so when that food come out, boo, you getting straight to work. On oh, God. Now, this is how the meal look. And this is how mine look. Oh! <clears throat> oh, you know, I smoke, I can't be doing all that. How it look, y'all? Y'all like it? How it look? Is it pretty? Girl, 
Let's go on and taste it. That's what y'all really waiting for. Let's go on and taste it, boom. Yes, I did a voiceover to this too. I know, silly me, silly me. But let me tell y'all, all of this was so freaking good. All of it. I had to taste everything one by one so I could really get the flavor of each one. But the way that mother, ooh, them potatoes was so good, y'all. Everything was spot on. Everything was good. I love HelloFresh. I love their meals. I love their options. I just love everything about them. And it was so bomb. But thank y'all so much for watching and tuning in. Comment what y'all want to see next. And let me know if y'all like this video.